It's not difficult to say that Lamborghini invented the mid-engine supercar with the V12-powered Miura. And since then, the raging bull has brought us the likes of Countach, Diablo, Murcielago, and finally, Aventador. However, that last model is just a bit long in the tooth and it's due for replacement. But fear not, the V12 is alive and well in Santa Gata Bolognese. Meet the 2024 Lamborghini Revuelto, the latest in a long line of flagship supercars that now matches plug-in hybrid power and efficiency with 12-cylinder thrills. Seeing Lamborghini's first plug-in hybrid vehicle in person is an absolute dream come true for us. So if you'd like Motor One to keep bringing you content like this, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also find us on all of your favorite social media, that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, using the handle at MotorOne.com. Now back to this Bolognese beauty. The heart and soul of the Revuelto continues to be the engine, in this case a naturally aspirated 6.5 liter V12 that makes a staggering 814 horsepower as well as 535 pound-feet of torque. A higher compression ratio and revised intake and exhaust ducts improve response and give the engine Lamborghini's best specific output ever at 125 horsepower per liter. And with a redline of 9,500 RPM, the V12 is all but guaranteed to shriek with the best of them. In a break from Lamborghini tradition, the engine has been rotated 180 degrees with a new eight-speed dual-clutch gearbox behind the engine to make space in the center tunnel for a 3.8 kilowatt hour battery. It sends electricity forward to two electric motors that make 140 kilowatts and 258 pound-feet in total. In addition, there's a third electric motor integrated into the transmission, meaning that even when running an EV-only Cheetah mode, the Revuelta still has all-wheel drive. In that setting, the Lamborghini flagship makes a grocery getter adequate 180 horsepower, and the smallish battery can be recharged in 30 minutes on a standard outlet, or in six minutes when using the V12 as a generator. But you're not in Italy to trundle around town at low speeds. You're here to set your passenger's hair on fire. Toggle the drive selector all the way up to Corsa, which is Italian for racetrack, and you've uncorked the full 1,001 horsepower available from both the V12 and the electric motors. Driven through the eight-speed wet dual-clutch transmission, that power gives the Revuelto a zero to 60 time of 2.5 seconds, as well as a top speed of more than 215 miles per hour. The electric motors also enable instantaneous torque vectoring, which works with rear axle steering for better handling. Stopping the car is the work of both electrical regeneration on the front axle and a robust carbon ceramic braking package at all four corners. The Revuelto also features the stiffest carbon fiber structure Lamborghini has ever created for a road car. The so-called monofuselage now incorporates the entire front end of the car, which makes it lighter and stiffer than what was found in the Aventador. And as you'd expect, the Lamborghini Revuelto backs up those incredible performance numbers with styling to match, just like any good Lamborghini supercar should. The pictures and videos speak for themselves, but for now, let me just call out the narrow, Sion-inspired headlights, this fantastic afterburner exhaust that leads away from the completely exposed V12 engine, and a litany of active aerodynamics that would make the fixed-wing Countach proud. And speaking of that original wedge-shaped supercar, I love that Lamborghini has maintained the Gandini rear wheel arches on the Revuelto. It's a subtle design feature that connects this car to its decades and decades of heritage. The Revuelto goes on sale by the end of the year, and Lamborghini already has 3,000 people raising their hands and getting in line to buy one. Pricing hasn't been announced yet, but considering the Aventador crested half a million dollars by the time it went out of production, it's not likely that the Revuelto is going to be any cheaper. But in exchange for that princely sum, this car's customers will at least get to brag about zero emissions in the city, as well as the outrageous and bombastic V12 performance that we've come to expect of the brand. Thanks for watching.